Welcome back and in Salisbury, one man convicted on charges stemming from a violent carjacking and rape incident back in January in Seaford. According to police, Ralph Harmon Jr. forced himself in a 80 year old woman's car. Now Harmon then beat the be then beat the victim, robbing the woman of her jewelry and forcing her to provide her debit card, her debit pin number. Sorry about that. And Harmon also sexually assaulted the victim before finally pushing her into the Wacomico River. Now, thankfully, the victim survived and was taken to the hospital. Now, Harmon was found guilty on multiple attempted murder and rape charges, amongst others. And over in Laurel, a pair of arrests made a crash caused a major roadway to shut down. Now, police say 31 year old Ryan Heron and 53 year old Kevin Schillings were in the car together. Now, according to police, Schilling was speeding and crashed into a vehicle stopped at a red light. Now, Heron fled the scene, going to a nearby convenience store. Hearn was arrested and found to be in possession of a knife and drug paraphernalia. And in Dover, two juveniles were taken into custody following a burglary investigation. Dover police say the 14 and 16 year old broke into a into cosmic smoke shop by smashing a window. Now the pair stole more than $1,500 worth of product. Investigators were able to identify the pair and acquire warrants for their arrest. Now, however, the teens turned themselves in to police and were then turned over to their parents after being processed. Both are facing multiple burglary charges and junior achievement of the Eastern Shore, welcoming students to its brand new facility in Salisbury for the first time this week. Now they're looking for volunteers to help out with the full day event. Students will get to take part in an immersive experience, learning real world skills. And engagement coordinator Shelby Lewis says the volunteers will play a big role in each student's journey. Those students can kind of learn about career exploration. They get to, you know, be a nurse for the day or, you know, get to change a tire and really learn those soft skills that you need for today's world. Really awesome stuff there. And the event is Monday, November 20th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And if you'd like to volunteer or learn more, just visit easternshoreja.com slash volunteer hub. Now, Let's uh, turn things over to meteorologist Rich Warchick, which warts it for the weather. Sorry, Rich. <laughs> it's okay, man. I'm, I'm already thinking about just how nice today it was, Javari, and just think about tomorrow. It's going to be chilly again, but uh, you know, this weekend not going to be too bad from a November standpoint, considering we should have chillier days, right? Today's highs, which we'll get to here in just a moment, were in the 70s, and this is out of Shelltown, right when the sun was really starting to uh, go behind the uh, clouds there toward uh, Sunset and Somerset County. That's where meteorologist Eric Alf was earlier today. Uh, such a beautiful day down there in Somerset County across the area. It's what it looked like this morning. Really cool picture from Kim Slaughterback, one of our uh, weather watchers out of Milton. You can see a little bit of that morning dew in the air or a little bit of light fog and uh, the blue sky there in the background. Really cool shot. Thank you for the photo there, Kim. And uh, Nancy Kastner, well, this photo is not supposed to be this stretched out here. I'm sorry about that, Nancy, but this is a great photo, too, of the sun shining through some of the high clouds and we were talking all weather today at Lewis Elementary. Got a chance to go up to visit the third grade. I want to thank Ashton Lewis for having me out again this year to talk to the third graders. They just started their weather unit out at Lewis Elementary and these group of kids. Uh, these kids were fantastic. Great questions. I think some budding meteorologists in that group again. Thank you for having me out there. It was a great time today at Lewis Elementary. Our weekend forecast as we talked about. It's all about the temperature drop but the sun will be making an appearance uh, at one point Saturday morning. Morning clouds, maybe an isolated shower, but really a chance for rain is just not there. Continued drive for most of the weekend. We were close to a record today at the Salisbury Airport, 74 degrees. There's that record of 75. You see where our averages are at. So being in the 50s during the day is really uh, where we're supposed to be. That's where we're at right now here, getting close to midnight. Still at 60 in Easton, Salisbury 54, Georgetown at 56. Current temperatures regionally, you can see where the cold front is. Easy to pick out there on the map. Those 40s in Pittsburgh and some of that area is headed our way here soon. There have been a lot of rain showers on the other side of the bridge. They've been trying to work their way into parts of Delmarva. It's just not going to be in the cards for most of us. Area of low pressure offshore, the Carolinas really grabbing into a lot of that moisture and starving that cold front from seeing much action. So on Futurecast, you can see that that front moves through without much fanfare. Low pressure.
pressure moves off the coast up toward New England. Check that timestamp there. We're going to get things started after a quiet weekend, a nice start to the week. But then looking at a storm here that's actually going to be working its way toward the Great Lakes and what it'll do tap into a ton of Gulf moisture. Another area of low pressure developing, so we got a lot going on here for early next week, but this looks like a lock for a steady rain that should help us out from the drought department here. And you can see estimated rainfall totals into early next week uh, between a half inch to an inch and a half here across Delmarva, so pretty promising. Isolated shower possible tonight into tomorrow morning, just don't bet on it. Uh, we're going to be dropping into the 50s for the afternoon as the wind starts to gust a bit tomorrow. So if you're planning on raking leaves this weekend, Hold off tomorrow, do it Sunday because tomorrow the wind yeah, is going to mess your work up. Uh, 54 on Monday and that rain chance is uh, looking pretty good there Tuesday. Turkey Day, cooler but looking nice. Don't go anywhere. We've got more DSI coming up on the other side of the break. Stay with us.